gets his dad real riled up, and uh, I, I honestly don't know why he does that. It kind of affects everybody in here, especially when we're waiting to do something, you know? We're a little bit under the gun here. It kind of hurts us all a little bit. Vincent you know? Vinny DiMartino appeared in several episodes of Discovery Channel's American Choppers from 2003 to 2007 before its initial cancellation in 2012. He's a motorcycle builder with most of his recognized work from when he worked at OCC, Orange County Choppers, from 2002 to 2007. In 2007, Vinny left the TV series American Choppers and the shop OCC to create a custom motorcycle shop named V-Force Custom in New York. American Choppers was a promising TV show marred by the personal drama between the main characters, Paul Tuttle Sr. and Jr. Next day, it didn't go out. Listen, so now what do you want to do? We're really trying to get this project I don't really done. Get you know, that's not the only thing that's going on. Okay, but you want to. You, you're, no, you, you know what? No, no, no. I, it's the only thing that I can do right now. Okay, so if I'm asking the question. Has to be shipped out, I'm asking the question why didn't it go out? So mind your own. Amid all the scandals, drama, and lawsuits, Vinny left OCC and the show, promising never to work there again. Let's find out what really happened to Vincent DiMartino from American Choppers. Vinny was born in Hudson Valley, New York to John DiMartino, a mechanic who owned a shop where he repairs vehicles. Vinny used to hang out at his father's shop, and from there, he started picking up a pension for automobiles. He built his first motorcycle at the age of nine. Vinny's passion for automobiles and the knowledge he acquired from working with his father helped him secure a job at an engine repair shop. At the shop, he regularly had to build motorcycles and cars and was able to sharpen his mechanical skills. While in high school, Vinny befriended Paul Tuttle Jr. and developed a relationship that would later be his way into Orange County Choppers. Vinny joined OCC in 2002, and his skill set made him a valuable member of the garage. When he joined OCC, Vinny had no idea that the shop was about to be the center of Discovery Channel's American Choppers. He didn't even know about the plans for a TV show until after working in the shop for a month. Vinny was an essential cast member behind some of the most critical builds on the show. He was the brains behind the Comanche Bike, a project that took its inspiration from the Comanche attack helicopter of the U.S. military. The Comanche Bike had to attend an exhibition in South Carolina, but before that could happen, it developed some mechanical issues. Vinny, Paul Tuttle Jr., and Paul Tuttle Sr. had to rush to the exhibition to fix the problem that had arisen. Although the bike was plagued with some issues, it remains one of the best builds from American Chopper. Vinny was also responsible for another build called the Mickey Vinny bike. He teamed up with Paul Tuttle's junior brother, Michael Mikey Tuttle, for his build. The project was quite lengthy, but the result was a spectacular custom-built chopper. As an anecdote, the bike's back had an illustration of Mikey and Vinny hugging each other. Vinny was having a good time at OCC and on American Chopper, but all good things must end. You know, there's been something that's been on my mind for a long time, and I'm sure people can sense it in me, but um, I came in this morning and I, I, really, I, really needed to, um, I really needed to leave this place. American American Chopper debuted on the Discovery Channel in 2003, relatively early in the reality TV era. The show's unique blend of the human relationships and workplace drama helped solidify the format, which has since been replicated by countless other reality shows set in interesting and unusual places of business. The American Chopper action occurred at Orange County Choppers, a high-end motorcycle customization shop in southern New York. After a five-year stint with OCC and American Chopper, Vinny quit. Years. Build after build, deadlines on top of deadlines, and uh, you know, and here I am, still in the same place. So uh, I think it's just best for my whole family if we just, you know, get out and do Vinny it. Vinny just walked into the shop, spoke to Paul Senior and Junior, and told them he was done. For five years on the show, Vinny has had to work on several builds and chase deadlines without feeling like he was making any progress. Vinny has always wanted to own a shop where he could build custom motorcycles, and after he left OCC and American Choppers, that is exactly what he did. He opened up his own shop called V-Force Customs. Leaving the show in the shop wasn't staged by the producers for more views. For Vinny, it was as real and it felt good. After leaving American Choppers, Vinny stayed away from reality TV until he appeared again on American Choppers Senior vs. Junior, a spinoff of the original show. Vinny worked at his old friend Paul Tuttle Jr.'s shop, Paul Jr. Designed, in this spinoff series with the contract that allowed him to wear merchandise with the V-Force Customs logo, ensuring that the audience knew that his shop was still in business. 
Vinny did well away from the TV series. After he diplomatically explained that OCC did not present him with any opportunities to grow or advance his craft, he left all the drama that American Chopper was known for, for some peace and quiet running his own shop. However, Vinny suffered a setback just as soon as he left OCC. The financial crisis of 2008 hit hard, and he had to adjust to accommodate the changing economic conditions. As the sale of motorcycles fell and the interest in special builds and modifications decreased due to a lack of buying power, Vinny modified his business model to accommodate regular car maintenance to provide a more reliable income stream. He established DiMartino Motorsports Automotive and Truck Repair, a garage that services and repairs cars, light duty, and some medium duty trucks. Before the economic crash and diversification of his business, Vinny made some cool builds as V-Force Customs. V-Force Customs' first creation was V-Force 1, which was unveiled in Daytona Beach, Florida. Another build is the Tampa Bay Storm Chopper, which Vinny built for the Tampa Bay Storm Arena League football team. It was unveiled at the Storm's final game of the season. All proceeds from the bike store was donated to the Pinellas County Humane Society and the Shriners Hospital for Children in Tampa. Vinny may be more focused on repairing cars and trucks now, but he still has a passion for building bikes. In 2022, he started DiMartino Industries, a company specializing in making apparel and custom-built vehicles for giveaways. And away from automobiles, he is a family man at heart. Vinny has been married to Melissa since 2001, just a year before he joined OCC. He has four kids and a golden retriever. He always finds time to share his lovely time with his family on Instagram. Vinny also runs a YouTube channel called DiMartino Industries. He has over 74,000 subscribers and posts content about his business and cars. He also drops videos of him pranking his friends and does Q&A sessions with his fans. Vinny is still pals with some of his co-stars. He's still tight with Cody. He said, me and Cody are like brothers. He's such a great guy. Speaking about the other guys, Vinny mentions that he doesn't see much of Paul Tuttle Jr. since he spends most of his free time with his family and hardly hangs out with friends. He wishes he could see more of Mikey and Rick Petko. He acknowledges that Rick is super good at what he does and was the only true biker at OCC and an American Chopper. American Chopper tried a reboot in 2018. This was after the previous attempt to reboot the show was plagued by lawsuits. The show titled Orange County Choppers American Made had to be put on hold when Thomas Derbyshire filed a lawsuit in Delaware State Chantry Court claiming that his business partner, Tuttle Sr., used the money he put into Orange County Choppers American Made for personal gain. Tuttle also attempted to change his ownership deal with Derbyshire from 51-49 to a 50-50 split in favor of Derbyshire. Derbyshire also claimed in his filing that Tuttle delayed production by going on a long fishing trip and that when he did show up to shoot, he refused to do scenes with Hell's Angels higher up Rusty Coons, which was contractually required. According to Derbyshire, Tuttle also made product placement deals without his permission. Paul Tuttle Sr. was followed by one controversy after the other. He declared bankruptcy just one day before the American Chopper reboot premiered in March 2018. Tuttle admitted to owing nearly 50 creditors a total of more than $1.7 million according to Chapter 13 legal paperwork obtained by Page 6, despite having a net worth of around $1.8 million. Despite having talented cast members like Vincent DiMartino, American Choppers was doomed to fail under the leader of Paul Tuttle Sr. Vinny's exit from OTC and the TV show may have been his best career decision ever.